Li Ximin's policy for the people finally made Chang Ji let go of the hatred in her heart. Now the border of dating has been peaceful, and her identity is not convenient for staying in Luoyang, so she decided to go to the desert for a walk. After hearing the words, Ashley Falcon had different wishes. Long Song walks together. Old Keen arranged the identities of the two of them, and he urged them out loudly that they needed to be siblings if they would go out in the future. When the two went out, they met Sun Zinrin and Si Chu. Sun Zinrin was anxiously preparing to leave due to the summons in the palace. He did not want to be detained in the Imperial Medical Office for the rest of his life, so this time I met with Si Chu Kian Rin Long Song. Long Song Goodbye Jiao Du and Li Yan and his entourage set off for Qian. After this, Li Yan also understood the saying that Li Ximin often said, how difficult is the people's livelihood, how to stand by, how can she not grow up as a dating princess as soon as possible. She only hopes that the long song wandering outside can be well. On the other side, Li Jing came to the outskirts to say goodbye to Ashley Falcon and saw the familiar long song. He decided to set off with Zuru Ui back to Chen in a few days. At the same time, he already knew Ashil Falcon was a person from the grassland. At the beginning, he deceived Ashil Falcon in that volume of Guardian Art of War, but Ashil Falcon's ability not to give up his original intention made him feel that he could have a close friendship with Ashil Falcon. Although there is no Guardian Art of War, the real art of war came from people and soldiers. He imparted the art of war skills he knew to Ashil Falcon, Ashil Falcon kept in mind, and when he meets Li Jing on the battlefield in the future, he will not forget what Li Jing said. There is an infectious disease spreading in the eagle, and the great wizard is helpless. Mimi knows that the disease is spread from the child she saved. She doesn't want all the eagle's people to get the disease, so she wants to take it with him. The child left. But the child repeatedly begged Mimi to save him. Mimi looked at the child and couldn't help but think of her brother. Her brother was still in Yi Chang's hands. She wept bitterly, not knowing how to choose. When Duru Ui returned to Chen, he reported to Li Ximin that Li Ching was still alive, and now Li Ching has gone with the Ash Shell tribe. Li Ximin was very pleased to learn of Li Ching's deeds in Luoi Ang. Like Ching's unyielding temperament, no matter who she is friends with, he will stick to her position. As long as Chink is still alive, he will be enough, and he I believe that Chink will never betray Dei Tang. Li Yan and her group rested at the inn. Li Yan was still angry with Jiao Du. She ignored Jiao and didn't want to eat the meal that Jiao Du gave. Xu looked at the two people's tantrums, only sent the meal into Li Yan's room, and told Li Yan that Jiao Du had saved Chang Ji Yi. At the beginning, Jiao had deliberately released Cheng Ji Yi on Li Yangwen. The reason for telling Li Yan about this is to hope that Li Yan will not refuse Jiao Du's protection. Jiao Du is indeed a good personal guard. Cheng and his party rushed to the border of the grassland. Yao Yuo met them and quickly told Ashley Falcon about the infection of the Eagle Master. Ashley Falcon and Cheng Ji decided to rush to the Eagle Master, Ken Lao will also go with them. And now Sun Zenrin is just not far away in the donkey cart. Cheng Ji asks Ken Lao to send someone to find Sun Zenrin. Sun Zenrin with superb medical skills, this disease will surely be cured. In the grassland, the child that Mimi saved opened his eyes. He was dying, and he only tried to tell Mimi with one last breath that he was very happy to have a sister before he died. Mimi held the child in tears. She went out to fetch the child and wash her face, preparing to let the child walk decently, but the people in the falconer found the child. The great wizard insisted that the child was a curse, and Mimi was the one who brought the curse. Mimi and the child were in harm day and night. Everyone in the eagle asked to kill Mimi. Mu Jin wanted to protect Mimi. But everyone was angry and even wanted to forcibly burn Mimi. Fortunately, Ashley Falcon arrived in time. He saved Mimi with one arrow and let everyone go back first. No matter when, the eagles were not allowed to kill each other. Ashley Falcon suppressed the crowd with majesty, everyone dispersed, Mu Jin quickly released Mimi, Mimi cried and hugged Long Song tightly. Cheng Ji has checked the people who are sick, and she determined that everyone is infected with the plague. 
After Chink comforted Mimi, she asked Mimi about the child. Mimi called the child Boozin, but refused to reveal anything else. Cheng Ji did not ask much, only respecting Mimi. This plague took away countless lives. A woman who lost her child blamed Mimi for her fault. She wanted to kill the unsuspecting Mimi with a knife. Mu Jin stepped forward to save Mimi. The knife was also infected with the plague. Li Yan and the prince arrived and Qian, and Li Ximin's growth made Li Ximin admire, and he was both distressed and gratified for Li Yan. Sun Zinren came to the grassland. After seeing the patient, he knew how to rescue him. He wrote down a prescription. The herbal medicine desert comfrey in the prescription was not in the Eagle Master. Yao Yua decided to go to Yishang's Iangda. Khan asked for medicine to save the eagles.